Hey, my name's Taylor and welcome back to my channel. You remember these bad boys hanging on every classroom wall growing up? Today, I'm gonna tell you why you should scrap those and never look back. They're cute and colorful, but they're just rude. Having that be the first thing someone sees when they walk into your classroom is where your kids land on a color-coded chart. Rude. I wouldn't like it if every time I walk in the teacher's lounge, I get to see where my name lands on a color-coded chart on how I'm doing today. No. So why would we do the same to our kids? And yes, you will have some students who once they clip down to yellow and have a warning, that's enough for them to turn their behavior around and not do it again. But most of the time, kids that tend to act out in these ways and have to clip down are oftentimes the ones who have stuff going on at home that we don't even realize. These charts don't show that little Billy didn't get anything to eat for dinner or breakfast this morning, so he's starving. This chart doesn't show that Sally didn't get to sleep last night because she heard sirens going off and didn't have a comfortable bed to sleep. It doesn't show the real life things that are going on. And I know that might not be your intention because I tried it out my first year. It lasted a whole month or two because it seems cute and colorful and harmless. But truth is, it does a lot more damage than we think. It ends up being way more distracting than what it's worth. Having them get up and walk over the clip chart, clip it down, and especially if you sent two or three over there to make an impression, they're just over there playing with their clips, talking to one another about where they get to clip, and then you'll always have the one that goes over there and fakes it. They pretend like they're clipping it down, they're not. Or they get real creative and just start clipping other people's down instead of their own. Like, we don't know. It is just way more distracting than what it's worth. So instead of calling out that kid to clip down on his chart, call him over, talk to him about what's going on, because that's gonna be way less distracting and way more effective. It's not really changing your behaviors. It's not really managing your classroom. Might make you feel like you're managing your classroom, but it's not. As a first year teacher, I wasn't quite sure what it was, but it felt like I'm rewarding those who are good and I'm doing something about the problem, but I wasn't actually doing anything at all, except causing more problems. It creates more negative behaviors than it does positive behaviors because you're making the child more resentful and have a negative connotation towards that clip chart, towards you, towards the classroom, instead of creating a positive experience. That chart doesn't teach kids how to actually regulate their behavior. And that is what we need to focus on, an internal reward system rather than an external one, like clipping up and clipping down on some chart. If we can create an internal award that helps them self-regulate their behavior, that's going to be worth so much more than them working to clip up on the green or blue. The kids start caring about where other kids are on the chart and why, instead of their own behavior and what's going on in the classroom. The first month I tried it out, oh, they were cheering each other on. They were telling each other, good job if they moved from the warning to the green. But they were also saying, oh, you moved down to orange. Oh, you're getting a parent phone call home. And that's not what I want in my classroom, okay? And those kids who were on the orange and red, quite a bit, because there's always a couple, they started feeling worthless and like they were a bad kid and that they couldn't learn because of a color-coded chart. Um, no thank you. So once I took that away, kids no longer really cared about the other's behaviors. They knew the couple kids who always act out, but kids didn't say anything about it. There was no constant reminder in the classroom, and that's exactly how it should be, because that is not what matters in the classroom. How we respect one another and how much we're learning in the classroom, that's what matters. All right, so those are my reasons why you should say goodbye to your clip charts forever. Tune in next week and I'll tell you some more effective behavior management strategies that you can try in your classroom. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week.